Hello, Dawn from the Dance Road here and we are at the moment um, doing our freestyle associate course. So the training's happening right now. So let's go in and just see how it's going um, and I'll see you in a minute. Most of it is on anatomy, um, on the flip chart. Obviously, because it's really going to help with their vision. Anyway, we're going to go for lunch, so I'll see you there. Okay, so it's lunchtime, a little bit noisy, but hopefully we'll be able to, you know, get everyone in. Suzanne, how's it going so far, the course? Um, I'm really pleased with what's happened today so far. I think a lot of it's gone in. I think everyone's really sort of like constantly focused and... Um, I've got no worries. It'll be absolutely fine. And next year we have our competition winner. So if you didn't notice, we had the competition a few weeks ago, and Danielle won the competition, and she's come all the way over from California <laughs> to come onto the course. How are you doing? Really good. Um, today we had anatomy, so that was a lot of fun. And um, yesterday we did our silver routine, which was challenging, but a really good opportunity. <laughs> Um, we saw some um, some creative routines yesterday, which were um, really, really good. Um, lots of different styles, and um, just a little jet lag, so I guess that's about it for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I just want to say congratulations to you again. Thank you so much. And thank much. you for coming all the way over, you know? No, thank you. I really appreciate the opportunity, and it's been a lot of fun and a really awesome opportunity to learn. So. All right, awesome. Thank you. Hello, Vanessa. Hi. <laughs> Vanessa, how did you hear about our course? Uh, on the internet. I found it on there and I wanted to come and do it, so I have done. It's really good. Good, good. I'm glad you're here. And um, yeah, we saw uh, Vanessa's creative routine yesterday, which was awesome. And um, I've no doubt Vanessa's going to do really well. Are you, are you nervous for your exam? I am, but I'm excited at the same time. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it's going to be an intense four weeks. Yeah, good luck, babe. Good luck. Oh, we have Sammy Joe all the way from Newport. So Sammy Joe's come quite a long way as well. Um, so how, how are you finding the course so far? It's really good. It's really good. Yeah, it's good. What What's been the one thing that you've learnt the most? Um, like so far, we've done definitions, anatomy, steps and movements. I think it's anatomy. Good. So with anatomy, obviously it was quite intense today. Hopefully we, we tried to make it a bit of a fun way of learning. Yeah, I Do you think it's sunk in better? Yeah, that's right. It's sunk in better. Yeah. Good, 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 good. I'm glad. Thank you. See you later. Over here we have the Irish table. This is the Irish table. Two sisters, Sandra and Louise. Louise, how's it going? Uh, great, yeah, brilliant. Um, we will have a study for dinner over the next four weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it'll be fun, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, you got for the next four weeks, you, you know you've got a lot of work to do. Serious. That's course. clear to you yeah. now, right? So this is your second day. You understand how much work you've got to do. Do you think that it's going to be possible? You're going to be able to just get this done? Well, I hope so. All we can do is try. Keep going. Keep working at it. It'll be tough, but hopefully. Yeah. There. What's the What's the one thing you've learned the most out of this weekend so far? What's been useful for you, like learning the names of the steps, like the importance of anatomy or definitions? Like, what's been the most learning the names of the steps? I think Put learning terms. the names of steps. Yeah, so you've got some terminology to exactly. take with you, yeah. which you can start implementing into your yeah. dance classes right yeah. now, yeah. like right away. So that yeah. would make a massive difference. Right, it would make you guys look more professional. Absolutely. <laughs> it'd, it'd make it easier. I think. 
you know, you can say to them, put this step, this step, and this step together, and they know what you're saying. Whereas, you know, when you don't that's have a the really, terms, really good point. You, you can't that's do a that. really good point. So, what Louise is saying is that once you know um, the names of steps and the terminology, when you start teaching that to your students, your students are going to understand exactly what you're talking about. So, even if you taught them, um, you know, they may learn the name, name of the step today, and then say, you know, week's time, you can say, okay, we're now going to throw in a whisk turn or a cross turn, and the student will know exactly what that is, so you don't need to explain it all over again, you know, so that it's going to help your, your students. Yeah, fast planning it'd be easier that way. Yeah, yeah. a lot easier. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for thank coming onto the course, and um, I'm sure we'll be seeing you again later. Fingers crossed. See you later. <laughs> and now we have a little Noria from Morta. Hello. Hi. Hello. So, um, you know, this is a really interesting course. We have lots of international students here today. Uh, Ireland, Morta, California, Wales as well. We can include that. So how are you finding the course so far? Well, we're very busy. I've been very busy these two days. We've covered lots of uh, theory and partly practice. Um, we've covered the syllabus and some of the steps I didn't know of, which was very interesting for me. Um, and now we're going to do uh, the head and arm positions as well today. We've done the similar metal, metal routine and we're going to learn how to record the creative routine as well. We also did anatomy, which um, I found very beneficial for me because there was a lot of stuff that I uh, was, it was good for me to revise some things. I wasn't aware of some things as well. Um, on the whole, I've enjoyed it a lot. Well done. Has it been what you've been expecting? Um, or different? Some stuff, uh, a lot more theory, not, maybe? Yeah. Um, there was some stuff that I did not expect. Um, for example, freestyle covers a lot of it's much more broad than I than I thought. It covers a lot of stuff, and uh, I didn't think it was so. Uh, I thought it was more limited, to tell you the truth. So it's, it's very good. So what's that opened up for you now then? Like if freestyle covers so much other styles, what are you now looking to implement into your business? Because you have a business already, right? Yes. yes. Okay. So at the moment you're teaching ballet, or yes, I'm teaching ballet and jazz, but I'm not. Um, um, I was not teaching freestyle and any other thing. Now it's going to open a lot of doors to my business, and I'm going to employ teachers who can maybe teach um, some of the syllabus. So that uh, I would have a, a better income to my business through uh, awesome. IDTA. That's brilliant. So I want to come over to Malta and check your business out. Of course. Am I invited? <laughs> but of course you are. <laughs> Thank you, babe. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello, Amy. <laughs> Amy's giggling. She's like, oh no, not me. Not me next. <laughs> Amy, how did you find our course? Um, really, really good. Really good. Interesting. Hard work, but worth it. Definitely worth it. You learn a lot in a short space of time, but good. Is information overload or it's okay? Um, I think at, when you're learning it, you think it's too much and you know but then actually when you get home and sit down and you think actually I've learned a lot today and it, it did all go in and I think yeah. So you're going to be, how are you going to be in the next four weeks? Uh, revising hard. <laughs> What's your strategy? What's your plan? Just, um, I don't know really, just keep practicing and keep going with it. Not to just forget about it, just try my hardest. Awesome, so you actually have accountability buddies, don't you? Yeah, so who's your accountability buddy? This one. <laughs> We're here, Madeline! <laughs> <laughs> so these are the naughty little two and uh, these two have been sitting in the back of the room pretty much all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. So Madeline, so Madeline, you live yeah. quite close, as a matter of fact, both of you yeah. live kind of close to us. So that you guys are really lucky. Yeah. Really, 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 really lucky. So how do you realise that, um, obviously because we do a lot of our marketing and stuff online, do you really realise that we have uh, a lot of people travelling far to come on? No. I thought that people would be travelling the same amount of distance as me. And like, well, times that by like a thousand. And that's how many miles they've done. Flying. Yeah. So how has it been for you on the course? I mean, obviously you were probably expecting a local course. 
and uh, what you came and found out is that you're actually mixing with a lot of people from around the world, which are dancers. Like, are you going to stay in contact? Yeah, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook. Yeah. So what's been the most um, important thing you think that you've learned which you can apply like straight away into your teaching? All the background stuff. Um, like not so much like the actual dancing but how to put like the school together. Like all the stuff that happens before and you actually do the teaching. So what are you looking to do once you're qualified? I want to start my own dancing school. Awesome. Is that mainly teaching children or kids? I mean, or adults or what? Mainly kids. I, and the kids that want to learn as opposed to kids that, you know, the mum and dad just chuck them in and say, this kid should dance. <laughs> I don't like them. They don't want to dance. They want kids that want to dance. Awesome. Well, you've got about four weeks. Yeah. So how's that for you? Brilliant. It's all right. I've okay. got next week off work anyway, so I'm going to get the majority of like the typing and all that lot done next yeah. week, hopefully. Yeah. I stick to a little schedule. Okay, <laughs> awesome. Well, good luck. Thank you, man. And um, I'm sure we'll be filming you later again. Hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> Thank you so much. Amy, what are you looking to do after you've got your qualification? Um, open my dance school. Open your dance school as well. Yeah. I was going to go round. What, what are you looking to do once you got this qualification? <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, but I'm just going round quickly. What perfect timing. Um, no, so I, I actually had planned to ask you guys a couple of questions about, you know, from start to like when you had the concept, like how you actually made it actionable. Materialize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, then, good, good, good. I like that. I like that. So is that what you're talking? Is that what she's talking to you about right now? Not really. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I have a plan to open my studio. I've been working on it for about six months. Um, I'm working on eco fashion, so my sweatshirts are made out of. Um, Ooh, recycled. look at me! And um, awesome. Also, I have graphic design on here for Studio Systematic. So that's that'll be the name of my Whoa. studio. And um, I recently obtained my personal trainer certification and a hip hop instructor certification. So this is like the next big thing to like make it all happen. Yeah, so. international qualification, babe. <laughs> international. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Awesome idea, guys. What are you looking to do once you got this qualification? Open your own dance school later. Open your own dance school, and you? Same again. Open your own Same dance school as well. My word, we've got a lot of entrepreneurs here. They all want their own businesses, which is awesome. And I know the Irish girls also are looking to open your own dance school, right? Um, well, we actually have our own dance school. They have the it already. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, so yeah, it's just in a small village in the west of Ireland. Yeah. So, um, but still, at the same time, it's just to have the knowledge behind us, to have the confidence to carry out your classes and. No, and mail. business development. Exactly. Uh, that's it, yeah. yeah, because that's one thing about when you um, when you actually have an associate qualification, there's actually more to it which the IDTH actually provides. So you take your associate, but there's room for development to progress onto bigger things, um, which can obviously have a massive impact on your business in the development of your business for expansion. Anyway, so um, we're going to eat now. So um, I'll speak to you later. Bye. Okay, so our next course is happening on 26th, 27th of November. So if you'd like a book of place onto the next course, get qualified to be an IDTA teacher, to have your certificates so that you can open up your own dance schools, teaching half gyms, 